Hello friends, welcome to Vitish Academy. Today in this presentation, we are going to solve an example on mathematical induction. So here we have to prove that 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square so on up to n terms is equal to n into n plus 1 whole square into n plus 2 divided by 12. So in our previous video, we have proved the formula for sum of the squares of n terms which is nothing but 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus so on plus n square is given by n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. So this would be the nth term of the given series. And now let us consider the given series as p of n. So we get here 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square plus so on plus the nth term of the series is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6 is equal to n into n plus 1 whole square into n plus 2 divided by 12. So first let us consider this equation as 1. Here begins the principle of mathematical induction. So first we have to prove that p of 1 is true. So in order to prove that let us substitute n is equal to 1 in the nth term of the LHS side. So we get here the LHS term as 1 into 1 plus 1 into 2 into 1 plus 1 divided by 6. So this would come as 1 into 1 plus 1 is 2 into 2 plus 1 would come as 3 divided by 6. So we know that 2 3 times is 6. So we can cancel over here 2 and 3 in the numerator and in denominator 6. So we get here the value as 1. Now let us substitute n is equal to 1 in the RHS side. So on substituting we get 1 into 1 plus 1 whole square into 1 plus 2 divided by 12. So that implies we get here 1 into 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 whole square would come as here 4 into 1 plus 2 is 3 divided by 12. So we get here 4 3 times is 12 divided by 12. On simplifying we get 12 1 time is 12 and 12 1 time is 12. So we get here the value of RHS as 1 and we can conclude that P of 1 is true. Now let us substitute n is equal to n plus 1 in the nth term of the LHS term. So we get here n plus 1 into n plus 1 plus 1 into 2 into n plus 1 plus 1 whole divided by 6. That implies we get here n plus 1 into n plus 2. Now let us simplify the third term here. We have 2 into n plus 1 plus 1. So by multiplying 2 with the group n plus 1 we get 2n plus 2 plus 1. That implies we get here 2n plus 3. So let us write 2n plus 3 over here whole divided by 6. So this would be the next term in the expansion of the equation 1. So by adding this next term on both sides of the equation 1, we get p of n is equal to 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square plus so on plus n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6 plus n plus 1 into n plus 2 into 2n plus 3 divided by 6 is equal to n into n plus 1 whole square into n plus 2 divided by 12 plus n plus 1 into n plus 2 into 2n plus 3 divided by 6. And now let us take LCM as 12. So we get the numerator terms as n into n plus 1 whole square into n plus 2 plus and coming over to the next term. In order to make the denominator as 12, we have to multiply 2 in the numerator and denominator. So by multiplying 2 in the numerator, we get 2 into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into 2n plus 3. So in the next step, by taking n plus 1 and n plus 2 as a common factor, we get n plus 1 into n plus 2 divided by 12 into n into n plus 1 plus 2 into 2n plus 3. So this would come as n plus 1 into n plus 2 divided by 12 into by multiplying here n with the group n plus 1, we get n square plus n and coming over to the next term by multiplying here the individual term 2 with 2n plus 3 we get 4n plus 6. So this would come as n plus 1 into n plus 2 divided by 12 into n square plus n plus 4n would come as plus 5n plus 6. Now let us factorize the term n square plus 5n plus 6. So let us multiply the coefficient of n square and the constant term. So by multiplying we get 6 into 1 which is equal to 6. So the factors of 6 are 2 into 3. So by adding these factors we get 2 plus 3 as 5 which is nothing but the coefficient of n. So we can write this as n square plus 3n plus 2n plus 6. Now let us take n as a common factor from the first two terms. We get n into 
n plus 3 and here by taking 2 as a common factor we get plus 2 into n plus 3. Again by taking n plus 3 as a common factor we get n plus 3 into n plus 2. So this would come as n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3 into n plus 2 divided by 12. Here we observe that we have 2 n plus 2 terms. So by multiplying we get n plus 1 into n plus 2 whole square into n plus 3 divided by 12. So that implies we get this as n plus 1 into n plus 2 whole square can be written as n plus 1 plus 1 whole square plus n plus 3 can be written as n plus 2 plus 1 whole divided by 12. So we observe that p of n is equal to p of n plus 1. So therefore we can conclude that p of n plus 1 is true for all n belongs to natural numbers. So this is how we solve an example by using the principle of mathematical induction. Hope you understood the concept. Refer to more videos on mathematical induction on our website vtchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.